Welcome back to the channel everybody. We have another video here and it's going to be testing out the Yon Li Gonju Yon Li Gonju Compression Tester Kit from Amazon We're going to be reviewing that today on the 2008 Honda Civic. Let's get on into it All right, so here we are with the beautiful 2008 Honda Civic 220. Oh, let's see. 221.939. First thing you want to do is grab you some little pliers and pull out. Not this first one on the on the bottom corner, but the one right next to it. Let's see if we can get you in there. I already pulled it out. You see an empty slot right here. It's, it's the number two slot. It's a 15 amp. That's to your fuel pump. You want to turn that off. That's the first thing you want to do. Next thing you want to do is I've already done it, but grab you a 10 millimeter socket. Take that nut off. Then you're going to go ahead and unplug your plug. Then you're going to get you a 5 8 spark plug socket, preferably magnetic, so you can pull the plug out. And then you're going to get you compression tester kit we picked this one up on Amazon put the description down at the bottom looks like you have an angled stem and a straight stem some instructions different fittings for different spark plug threads Looks like this second to biggest one is gonna be the one that's gonna fit ours. Yeah. And there's your gauge with the release valves. And you got your little extension hose. So let me get you set up on the tripod and we'll show you how we run this thing. So this is my first time doing it. I thought it'd be pretty easy to work one of these compression tester kits, especially on this car since all four plugs are there on the top. So you take the size, diameter of your spark plug thread, screw it in there, and this is all by hand. You get that O-ring there, it makes you a nice seal. That's about it. And then you're supposed to take this, hole and thread it in. It starts to get a little snug. It's hitting that O-ring. Twist it with your hand. Don't ever use tools on it. It'd be too much. And you have this like a uh, air valve type deal. Snaps in there and we're ready to go. Let me give it a couple cranks. We'll see what our PSI is. It's about 160 in that cylinder. So with the 1.8 liter 8th gen Honda Civic, you want a minimum of 128 PSI and no more than 28 PSI difference from cylinder to cylinder. There's a shot of what these Bosch platinum plugs look. The other one looked the same as this. It's a Bosch platinum plug on a 1.8 liter that's got 25,000 miles on this plug so it doesn't look too bad it's not all black it's not all white it's a little bit brown right where you want it looks like it's a little bit lean but not a concern all right, 
I believe this is cylinder three. Let's get a run on this. Not bad, same as the other, 160. Here's a look at the spark plug in cylinder number two. It's good color, nice brown color. Wow, 175. Looks good. This one's not oily either. Cylinder number one. A cool little tip about um, gapping these kind of plugs that are platinum and you read them. See, this is platinum right there. A cool little tip you can do is since you cannot go in there with that spacer and flare it out because when you do see that little tip you will actually scrape off a little bit of iridium or platinum or whatever precious metal you have on there and you'll scrape it off it won't be any good anymore so what you want to do is find something that you can just barely hook the tip and spread it out or if you have to push it up against something like like the the wood on your workbench kind of like you know press it and just to bend it just enough and then you get your gauge in there without real careful don't hit that tip and that's a good way to gap it you don't want to scrape anything like I said up against that tip they say these come pre-gapped but none of these and these are name brand uh, that's some gunk on there Bosch it's supposed to be name brand they're supposed to, be, they're supposed to come pre-gapped they weren't they were not pre-gapped so spark plug tip for you. Alright, last but not least, but it is the least, it's number one. Let's check this out. About 170. Each one of these indentions in between is five. So we had 170, 175. What was the other one? 160, 160. So just so we're clear, I was using the third one here, and that's a 14 millimeter. You have your big one. It's 18, 14, 12, and 10. So what do I think about the Long, Long Li, Long Li Gonju? Hey, not bad. I like it. It's a funky word though, that's for sure. It's pretty self-explanatory, man. It, it, it worked, you know. You don't even need to read this. you just seen the 10, 12, 14, 18. All the rest is self-explanatory, you know. You have your release valve, your pressure release valve. You see the pressure, the PSI go up. I mean, what else do you want? It's pretty cheap too. It's got a little thing in there and comes in a hard case and it works. So not all their stuff that they make is junk. So I'm going to test it next on the, I'm going to do another video and test it on this uh, 125cc motor. It's right there. Pretty easy. Say hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out for more. See you later. You take China. 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 I love them. China. 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 I have to have my China.